want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody. This is incredible. You know, we took what was known as the big arena. It's not too big. Because you can't. We'll have to do another one. We'll come back soon. We'll get everybody in. Welcome back, everybody. Simple Sun here. Alejandro Mayorkas uh, did an interview on Meet the Press. Um, we're going to check out a couple clips of him explaining himself. I guess, um, you know, denial, lies, you know, probably the normal. You can probably already guess what the kind of things he was saying. Um, they asked him some, some questions, you know, to be fair, they did ask him questions. So we're going to check out the clips. I'm um, we'll come back and tell you what I think, and um, yeah, you know, he sort of explains himself. What about reinstituting the remain in Mexico policy? That is something that you terminated. Do you regret terminating it, given that migration has increased in the wake of that? And are you considering reinstating it, working with Mexico to do that? A few things about remain in Mexico. First of all, it depends upon uh, Mexico's agreement. And Mexico has articulated publicly that it will not allow the, the re-implementation of Remain in Mexico, number one. Number two, it's been challenged in the courts. You testified for years, really, that the border is secure. And now, in recent comments, President Biden says it's not secure. Do you now agree with President Biden's assessment that it's not secure? Kristen, the challenges of the border have been longstanding. The president correctly noted that those challenges have existed for 10 years. Do so you agree in with him? Fact, even even longer. There is no question that we have a broken system. There is no question that we have a challenge, a crisis at the border. And there is no question that Congress needs to fix it. And we're doing everything we can within that broken system, short of legislation, to address what is a not just a challenge for the United States, but one throughout our region. No doubt there is gridlock on Congress, but do you bear responsibility for what is happening at the border, what the president himself has called a crisis? It certainly is a crisis, and well, we don't bear responsibility for a broken system, and we're doing a tremendous amount within that broken system. But fundamentally, fundamentally, Congress is the only one who can fix it. Isn't trying to do something better than doing nothing at all? Why doesn't President Biden try to shut down the border? Are you encouraging him to do that? Well, we have already taken important steps. Um, he cer we certainly haven't done nothing. I will tell you, uh, we issued a regulation, the Circumvention of Lawful Pathways, that increased, that actually created a rebuttable presumption of ineligibility for asylum seekers if they did not avail themselves of the lawful pathways that we built. And so we've done a tremendous amount. So now you heard Alejandro Mayorkas's, um explanations on why it's not his or Joe Biden's fault. I think it's kind of rich that he's, that in one part, port, Portion, he's saying, oh, no, we, we did a great job. Our system's great. It's perfect, 100%. And then in another que you know, question, answer to the question, he goes, we, we're working within a broken system. The system's broken. We've got to let Congress fix it. You notice that it, you know, it's whatever he considers a benefit or a positive, they did it. Whatever is a negative, uh, it's Congress's fault. It's a broken system. It's I'm pretty sure, you know, if you continue to watch the entire interview, Trump's the bad guy, too, or or somebody in the Republican Party is the bad guy, too. This guy is either in denial or he's lying or both. This guy is the director of Homeland Security. This is the guy who's supposed to be in the head of the department to protect our homeland. We've already seen the president of the Border Patrol uh, tell us that they're finding that it's not just, you know, people in our hemisphere, you know, Latino and Hispanics and Mexicans and, you know, Central America and South America. It's everybody from all over, Asian and Middle Eastern, that directly want us dead. Sheriffs, uh, 3,300, one of their representatives, uh, spoke to the FBI director, stating that there's red flags more than since 9-11. Uh, and this guy is director of Homeland Security, and he's seeming as if, like, there's no problem. What problem? Even though we had the record number of people crossing the border in January, more than ever in history, there's no issues. There's no issues at all. So the clips I'm about to show you, there's no problems there. 
There's nothing. There's nothing. You shouldn't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. Everything is fine. Wild shootout comes after a different group of migrants pummeled two NYPD officers and then fled to Arizona. These are the people Joe Biden's ushering into our country. Biden's just blasting a fire hose of migrants into America at a record clip. Look at this. This is the last hundred years of border crossers. As you can see, what Joe Biden has done to this country is unlike anything that's ever happened. It's an absolute explosion of illegal immigration that shows no signs of stopping unless he's defeated. See, no problems, everybody. You, you can clearly see this chart. There's no problems. You know, these, this gigantic black line at the, the, you know, all on your right, where it shows two, three, four, five times more than historical highs. Ignore that. That's not a problem. People respect our borders. People respect our country. They, they do expect outcomes. They do absolutely. You're just a bigot. You're, you're a xenophobe. You're, you're a racist. Don't ever question what the authority is telling you. Don't question what your eyes see. I mean, even though we can clearly count and tell that, you know, we're at historic highs with people crossing our borders. So don't be scared. It's not like somebody, you know, who crossed this border illegally, who's here illegally, is going to hurt you. Nobody's going to hurt you. Benile now charged as an adult and arraigned on two counts of attempted murder, assault, attempted assault, and criminal possession of a weapon. The Police Benevolent Association in court today in numbers. This individual believed that he could steal. He believed that he could find and carry an illegal firearm. He believed he could fire that firearm into a crowd on the street. He believed that he could try to kill a New York City police officer. See, everybody, what the hell is wrong with you? What makes you think that you're going to get harmed? See, there's absolutely nothing wrong here, says every Democrat everywhere. See, here's the issue we're facing, that when you bring in so many people at once, it's the same as having too many people in one room. There's eventually going to butt heads. It, again, I've said this multiple times. It really doesn't matter where a person comes from. They're, we're as, as far apart culturally and perspectively as anybody would be, regardless whether they're Hispanic or white or Chinese or Middle Eastern. It really wouldn't matter. You start throwing so many people beside everybody else, especially when you start treating those people superior. You start treating these people superior. They, there literally is a program they've thrown $53 million into to give illegal criminals, criminals now, money for food. When then brought this up, 50 Cent brought this up, uh, Eric Adams proceeded to say, hey, 50 Cent, sit down and tell me, uh, you know, I'll tell you how we can implement this, where to be safe, and we can expand it. Why are you giving criminals our money for food when you're already giving them food? I don't give a shit that they don't like eating what we give them. You're here illegally. People in prison don't like what we give them to eat either. But guess what? They were criminals and they got treated as such. They didn't cross the border illegally is what comes out of Democratic Party's mouth because they don't see breaking the law is bad unless you're Donald Trump or a rather Republican. Again, there's a special counsel saying that Joe Biden, the guy named Biden, shouldn't be charged because he's incompetent. I know he's incompetent, but somehow he still got elected. We shouldn't charge his son with anything, even though, you know, it, allegedly there's these massive amounts of crimes that, that have taken place, but it seems like everything's hush-hush. The Clintons as well. Where is anybody ever getting charged in those 
you know, incidents. They're not. So if your name's Biden, if your name's Clinton, you're going, you're, you're walking away free. If you came into this country illegal, illegally, regardless of where you come from, you walk free. Here, we'll give you money, we'll give you cell phone, we'll give you somewhere to live. But if you're an American citizen, struggling, a, a, a hardworking American citizen, struggling, you get nothing. You get nothing. Don't look out for, you know, our people. We got we to gotta keep bringing more people in because, you know, you don't want to look like a bigot. We have to close the border. We have to shut it down, um, back up Texas, give that, that $53 million plus more to help do it. I don't think Eric Adams, I don't think Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and all these other people, AOC, another one. I don't think they're smart enough to realize that we're going to wind up having some war. We're going to have something. I know it. I mark my words that something bad is going to happen. We're facing down the barrel of a proverbial gun right as I speak. Uh, it's going to come to a head. We're, we're going to have to, you know, the hardworking American citizens of this country and the delusional libtards are just going to, we're going to, we're going to butt heads. We have to. That's how it feels. I'm not saying we should. I'm just saying that I, I think that's what's going to happen. If you agree with me, hit the like, hit the share button, hit the subscribe. Uh, I'm Simple Son. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless America. Peace.